I often get the question, how do you actually get the DJI Fly app onto your Android phone? Um, this is a, not as simple as it sounds because most of you will most likely go to the Play Store and then you will type in something like, uh, I don't know, DJI Fly app or DJI Fly. And then you'll be prompted with a lot of applications uh, where none of them is actually the DJI Fly app because that has not been available on uh, the Play Store for a long time. So what you need to do instead is you need to launch a browser and then you need to go to dji.com downloads. And that's basically the download center from DJI where all the applications are stored. And then you can press here directly from uh, the Chrome browser and uh, the DJI Fly app. And then you're getting to a page that looks something like this, where you can download the latest APK from DJI. And if you press that one, you will be prompted with this dialog that says something about that this uh, file might be harmful, uh, download it anyway. So we say, yes, download it anyway, because we trust the Chinese. <laughs> then you press details. And then the app is downloading. And depending a little bit on how heavily uh, the servers on uh, from DJI are loaded, it will take anywhere between one minute and two hours to get the file. I don't know about two hours. That was just something I, <laughs> I invented. So now the download has been completed. And as you can see, there are two files here, but that's because I just tried it before prior to recording this video. So when the download has been completed, you just tap on the file name. And then a dialog prompts if you want to install the app. You press install and because it's loaded from the outside of uh, the Play Store, it will deem the app as being unsafe. And the way to install it from here is not to press OK, because if I press OK, it says app not installed. So what you need to do now is we need to go through the procedure again, press on uh, the file name and then it says install. Yes. And then wait for it to be deemed unsafe. And then press more details and then use the text link here instead, install anyway. And then I need to use a pin because I only have a pin for this phone. And then it's installing it and then it says app install. So if I just open it so you can see that it's actually working. Agree. Doing it. So. <laughs> so this is how you get the DJI Fly app onto your Android phone. You might be thinking now, what about updates and how, why do I need uh, to put um, the TGI Fly app on my Android phone? <laughs> There's basically two reasons. Updates, you don't need to go through this procedure every time because there is a push uh, mechanism built into the TGI Fly app. So every time that there's a new version of the Fly app available, it will be automatically pushed out to uh, the application as long as you are logged in. It, it probably also works uh, when you're not locked in. If you're connected to the internet and there's a new version available, you will get the chance to automatically update that in the background. And the second reason you're saying, I don't need that on my phone, the DJI Fly app, because I have the, one of these fancy controllers where the Fly app is, uh, is kind of built in as part of uh, the operating interface. But you know what? You have a very, very cool quick transfer feature. So once you have been out recording something with your drone, could be this one or it could be one of the others, you can use the quick transfer functionality of the DJI Fly app to transfer footage directly from the drone to the phone and in this way, uh, you have very easy access to edit and publish content that you just recorded. And now you know how. So I hope you liked this video. If you did, then feel free to give a like. If you did like it, feel free to press the dislike button twice. Thank you for watching and I'll be seeing you around.